Hey, Dan Coach Miller here with NorCal Sports Network with a video on the Golden State Warriors and who should start. And want to put our little overlay up there. There we go. So before we get into this and who should start, I want to thank our sponsor, Chapman Law Group. And Chapman Law Group is located in Marin. There's their phone number right there, 415-613-9483. They service and cover all of the Bay Area and actually all of California. If you have any needs for legal matters, give Chapman Law Group a call. Also, you can read about them in the description of this video. All right, let's get right into this, guys. Who should start for the Golden State Warriors. Well, we've seen Lindy Waters be, has been starting since the Anthony Melton's been out. He started the last couple of games for the Warriors. And it looks like the Anthony Melton is going to be out for quite a while. Not good news for the Warriors and their depth. Melton, uh, excellent uh, two-way type player, defensive ball hawk, and he can shoot the three. He can drive to the hoop. He's definitely fits the Warriors this year. And that's a that's a bigger loss than um, we think because he plays valuable minutes, the good shooter. But Melton, I don't know how long it's going to be out, but the fact that he's seeking a second opinion for that sprained ACL that he suffered in the game against the Dallas Mavericks last week, not good news because this is, um, you know, a sign that uh, this might be maybe surgery. If you're seeking a second opinion. I mean, if it's just a, a sprained ACL and they're telling you you need a couple of weeks, maybe you're seeking a second opinion because the first opinion says you're going to need surgery, or maybe it's, they said it's no big deal. You just need a couple of weeks, but he's feeling a lot of pain, and it's he thinks it's more serious. Could be that, kind of like Kawhi Leonard's situation. So I think this is going to be a big loss for the Warriors. The best I think we can hope for is, is that he doesn't need surgery, and it's only a maybe a two months, maybe three months, and he comes back early January, February of 25 for the stretch run of the season but in the meantime who should start right now it's lindy waters okay but who else is available that could start for the warriors a number of people that the warriors can use there's has such a flexible lineup they could go with jonathan kaminga they could go with moses moody they could go with buddy Heald. they could go with brandon Bozemski. they could even go with with uh i mentioned kaminga and moody uh gp2 is the other guy that could start so you've got five possibilities you got kaminga moody gp2 pazimski there's four and they could go with gp2 five they can even go with kyle anderson there's really six guys the warriors could go with uh so by the way speaking of kyle anderson he is questionable for Wednesday night's game against the Atlanta Hawks with a neck. And Steph Curry is listed as probable for Wednesday night's game against the Atlanta Hawks. Um, and Kevin L Kavon Looney, Kevin Kavon Looney was ill and missed Monday's game against the Clippers. He is probable for Wednesday night's game as well. So, but uh, DeAnthony Melton, as mentioned, is out. And that is going to be a situation to be monitored as that's going to be a day-to-day -day thing and maybe indefinite. So my opinion, who should start? The guy I would like to see the Warriors start is Moses Moody. Because I think Moses Moody best mirrors what DeAnthony Melton could do. He's long. He's six five. He's got long arms. He plays really good D. He can shoot. He drives to the hoop. He will. He's not afraid to take it to all the way to the hoop and go up there with the big seven footers and go right at him. Uh, I like Moses Moody's 
game. I think he's best suited for starting. He gets off early. Uh, I think Kaminga is best suited coming off the bench because he's got a high motor and the second unit needs somebody like that. When Steph is off the court, I think you need Kaminga as a uh, primary scorer. And when Steph's not out there, you need that. So if we got Wiggins, for example, and Steph off the court, you need a guy like Jonathan Kaminga. So I think the best guy to start is Moses Moody. That's my opinion. Tell me what you think about that. Another thought I have, guys, a guy that I would really, really like to see get some playing time now that Melton may be out for an indefinite period. And that's the two-way guard from Virginia, Reese Beekman. I don't know if you guys have watched this guy play, but he was ACC Defensive Player of the Year. He fits the Warriors' style. He can move. He's he's quick. He can handle the ball when you know you need a second ball handler. I'm not as high on Brandon Pazimski handling the ball, and his shot isn't the greatest. I love the fact that Beekman can get to the rack. He's quick. He's a good ball handler. He's a good passer, and he's a heck of a defensive guy. So, you know, look, the Warriors went just a couple years ago. How many games did they have to play of Anthony Lamb and Ty Jerome, who both were on two-way contracts, and they maxed their games out, which was like 50 games. Look, the, the Warriors had no depth then, obviously. But now, you know, you're you're missing the Anthony Melton. Let's see what Beekman could do. He's like a 6-3 player. 6'3", six, 6'4", six, I've seen him listed at. I've also seen him listed at 6'1". I don't think he's 6'1". I think he's closer to the 6'3". But he's a great defender, and so is Melton. Let's see what uh, Reese Beekman can do. Let's let's see him in some action and get this guy uh, playing some games as well. Keep that 12-man unit or 13-man depth Get these guys playing hard. That's the Warriors' way right now. So we're going to be doing a lot of Warriors videos here. We're going to be talking about some possible trades that they could be coming up with and some guys that I like. But, uh, guys, thanks for watching NorCal Sports Network. Tell us what you think of this video in the comments section below. Really want to hear your thoughts. Also, if you would, hit that like and subscribe button for us. That would really be nice to see. Hit that like and subscribe. Uh, we're a growing channel. We're over 3,000 members just as of this week. Thank everybody who's subscribed to the channel and uh, really do appreciate your thoughts and comments on this video. Tell us what you think down below, and we really do appreciate it. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video. Also, catch us on the live after Warriors-Hawks game Wednesday night. We'll be live immediately after the final buzzer. Catch us live right here on NorCal Sports Network. Whenever the final buzzer is, somewhere around 9.30, 9.45 Pacific Standard Time, we'll be on to analyze and break down the game. Again, thank you again for watching. Take care.